What's up guys, Shane if you get 3D printing. Today we're gonna to check out the August Maker Box. Welcome back guys, as I said, today we're finally gonna take a look at the August Maker Box and I love this thing. This is amazing way to test out new filaments and it's a surprise every month, which is even better because, I mean, surprises are great. Let's see what came this month. All right, so right off the bat, we've got a couple things here in the top. We've got Protopasta HTPLA V3, stronger, more durable. So basically just Protopasta, a little advertisement thing in there. And then we have a I print with pasta sticker. That's always nice. And we have the maker box sticker. So they've changed the way that they do some of the information inside the box. In the early boxes, or all the beginning ones, for perhaps their first year, the sticker was right here and it had all the information on what was in the box. Well, not all information, but there was a lot of information on that. And then they moved to just a printed sheet, you know, a little small four by six sheet or so, and that had information on it and the discount codes were all on that. Discount codes used to be on the bags. Now they have it on just a little business card so you can earn a free box, you know, which I have a referral. I'll we'll talk about that later. And then you don't know what the print, maker box print ideas. And then on here, it tells you there's a QR code and a UR, little Google short URL to go to to find all of the discount codes on their Google Drive which is interesting. I'll just leave it at that. It's interesting. They've changed a lot. It's probably cheaper to do it this way. I know things have gotten more expensive. Shipping prices have gone up, things like that. So this is an interesting change. I'll have to go on there to see what it all is. All right, down here in the bottom, let's see if there's anything else mixed in here. Oh, we do have Jelly Belly Jelly Beans again. That's great. And then here we have a Magigoo little deal. And it looks like, yes. <laughs> So they give you three sample, three samples of Magigoo, which is very interesting. It's a good way for advertisement. It just tells you all about it. Oh, and they do give you a 20% discount code on Magigoo. So that's interesting. That's very interesting actually. So if you guys are interested in Magigoo, I actually did a review on this. It's pretty interesting stuff. I think it's a little expensive, but I mean, it works out absolutely fantastically in my opinion. So I'll put a link up here so you guys can check that out. But uh, so that's all the paperwork that came. Now let's see what filaments are in here. All right, up first we have this awesome looking metallic HTPLA V3. So that was the card that came in here. And this is by Protopasta. That is an awesome machine. This is gonna print out great, I bet. All right, so the print settings. Hot end temperature, 200, 230 C. Bed temperature, zero to 70 C. Speed, 30 to 50 millimeters second. It's not abrasive. And the information, a high temperature PLA whose color is made in collaboration with YouTube personality, Joe Kelling, AKA 3D printing nerd. So I guess this is their, they're calling it mag, the metallic HTPLA V3, but Joel, this is called the high five blue. I know that because I've seen the videos and I really run a roll, but, uh, I really don't need to spend $40 on that filament right now. I have more than I have need right now. Anyways, this is a awesome, awesome color filament. I cannot wait to print it. All right, so next up we have a PC Plus PTB by Push Plastic in this very awesome looking orange. So let's look at the settings. Hot end temperature, 235 to 250 C. Bed temperature, 100 to 125 C, so hot stuff. Speed 30 to 60 millimeters per second, non abrasive. And here's the info a blend of polycarbonate and polybitherine, terethrinate, which makes a great balance between stiffness and ductility. I'm sorry, these words are. I'm not an English major, I'm an IT guy. But um, yeah, those get a little bit complicated. Uh, I will have to go on their website and actually see what any of those words mean or get out the Google machine and look. But either way, it looks cool. Uh, it's hot temperature, so I'm thinking PETG slash ABS style. I mean, it's polycarbonate, so it's up there in temperatures. But either way, I mean, we'll see how it turns out. All right, now we have land filament from 3D Fuel, and it is black. So what are the settings? Hot end temperature, 180, 210C. Bed temperature, zero to 45C. Speed, 50 to 80 millimeters per second. It is not abrasive. Let's see the info. 3D print with hot garbage. Land filament is a garbage-based 3D printing filament made using upcycled 
municipal solid waste mixed with PLA. What is municipal solid waste? I'm not sure. That would again would be something else I need to get online and look. Uh, it feels and looks like regular old PLA. So again, this is another crazy filament, but we'll see how it turns out. All right, and the very last thing is we have a pre-packaged one from Form Futura. So the previous uh, filaments that came for Futura also came in this little packaging here. And I'm guessing this is just the samples that you would normally like purchase if you went through them and MakerBox has a deal with them. It's a cool thing. So this is Crystal Flex by Form Futura again, super duper clear looking. And it is clear. Print temperatures 230, 260C. And that's it, and it's 50 grams. So we'll have to go on their website. Again, I really don't like that they do this. I wish MakerBox would take one of their stickers and slap it on this. I know it's a little extra work, but if you're gonna go through all the hassle of giving half ounce information on here, and you're gonna put this in the box, put the sticker on there. I don't, I don't see why it would be such a hassle. So MakerBox, you guys should look into that. Anyways, that's the four filaments. So let's warm up the printers, get them printed, and see how they all turn out. Okay, so you should have enjoyed some time lapses. Hope everybody likes those. And I did get four successful prints eventually. I did have one that gave me an issue, but we'll go into that. First thing I wanna talk about is the spool holder. I did not create a new spool. Or I shouldn't say spool holder, a new spool. Uh, I did not find another spool that I liked enough to print one to test with this month. I did, the, these three months have been very quickly together, simply because I wasn't able to do June, July on time. And having Dune 2 for those ones, and then having to find another one for this, I just couldn't find one that was good enough. So if there hasn't been one that I have featured or done, let me know down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to test one out with next month's box. That being said, let's dig into the prints. All right, up first we have Metallic HT PLA V3 from Proto Pasta. Now they do say that this is supposed to be 3D printing nerds high five blue. I don't think it is though. Again, I didn't think his high five blue had glitter in it, like like this metallic type, but I could be wrong because I haven't actually purchased it yet. So I would like to reach out to Joel and ask him if this actually was his color. Anyways, looking at it, I mean, come on, it's protopasta. It printed like butter. There was no issues at all. The bottom on protopasta's filaments here are just gorgeous. If you just look here, these overhangs, like barely any issues. There was two, these three here had a little bit, but looking at the rest of it, I mean, just beautiful. Bottom layer came out beautiful. Over the supports came out, again, beautiful. I cannot say enough about Protopasta's filament, aside that it is uber expensive for a doggone good reason because it prints amazing. So this was a great print and this would be definitely a filament I would love to have to be able to print with for other things. Okay, now we have a land filament from 3D Fuel. And this is pretty cool because this is upcycled municipal solid waste mixed with PLA in order to make this, which is a very interesting thing, but I like it. And it prints just like PLA. It had some of the random PLA issues that you normally have. Sorry, black is a little hard on camera. But bottom layers came out well. Walls came out really well as also. This is printed on my Folger Tech 2020 i3. And it just, I mean, there was no issues at all. Like two, three blobs here and there. But no stringing. Again, just like regular PLA, but it's recycled stuff. So that's cool. All right, so here I had to print the PC Plus PBT from Push Plastics twice. I didn't realize that this polycarbonate and polybutherine mix was like ABS. So this one I started, as you can see, very poor layer adhesion. I had the fan on and I didn't print it hot enough. It was not enclosed. This originally was starting on my 2020 i3 on uh, Biltac surface. So you can see here, it just didn't, just didn't do well. All, all bad news. So. I went ahead and reprinted it on the 
Forgetech FT5, I enclosed it, turned the fan off, used ABS type settings, and it came out much better. I can say it did over extrude a little bit. As you can see, these lines just look a little bit more smudged than they should. It should be a little bit crisper. Sides came out fairly well, like one or two under extrusions here and there. Even, even here, a little bit of splitting in the layer. It's really hard to see there. And the bottom, it feels fuzzy because like an idiot, I printed this on build tack at 100, or not the, the Folger tech build tack at 110 on the build plate. Yeah, bad idea. The print surface delaminated from the board and it started to scrunch up. And the bottom kind of got this like fuzzy, smudged look to it. Like it's not clean at all. And this support right here is completely fused. I cannot get it off at all. I tried several times. Like the top layers come off here, but those bottom layers are not gonna budge at all. Just super tough. So this is an interesting filament. I, I don't have a really use for it. I think this has other, you know, uses for it, use cases, but nothing that I would do would warrant this. The color is like a peachy orange. It's kind of weird, but I mean, I was able to print it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it for how it was able to print. You can see, even see the bottom, kind of the elephant foot type looking, what it looked like, and it really didn't do that, but. Anyways, it came out okay. Uh, if you guys have any questions on the settings for this, let me know and I'll share with you what I did and what I would have done next time to improve the print. And finally, we have the Crystal Flex from Form Future. And it's a regular old clear filament. I mean, I, I, it prints at PETG temperatures. So I think that's what it's, it's kind of going here for. It feels fairly strong. It printed well. As you can see, I printed this right after the Hi-Fi Blue. I could have swore I flushed out my nozzle enough, but I should have kept pushing it through. That's a big issue with clear filament that anything that's in there will white also, but anything that's left over in your nozzle from the previous color is gonna come through in your first couple layers. And for me, it was just the bottom layer because it does this first and then it does here. So by the time it got to these two first layers, it had already, you know, I had everything that was in there already came out, was extruded, and then it was clean after that. But I will say overall printing this was great. I had with Form Futures HD glass, I've had issues in the past with that filament, but this stuff printed without a problem. Top layers are completely filled in. It's really hard to tell on clear filament, especially on camera if it filled in, but if you rub your fingers on it and it's nice and smooth, that means that it is filled in. Walls also baby smooth on there. Supports came off very well. Over the supports was good. So again, all over, good filament, I really just don't like clear filament. It's a personal choice and I don't like clear filament unless you're printing a vase because the way that it goes over each other, it makes it look like some kind of crummy white and it just doesn't float my boat. That's all I can say about it. But did it print well? Absolutely. So I have to say when I get a box like this, I'm super happy. Even though all the prints didn't come out, I learned something and I learned a lot about this type of filament and the land filament that actually using upcycled materials waste in order to make a filament, that's really great. And other companies that are taking other filament, recycling it to make new PLA or new pet G's, whatever it is, the, just the, the way that people are making filament these days is just absolutely amazing. It's not just PLA, ABS, and PETG anymore, or even back in the day, just PLA and ABS. There's so many different varieties out there now. So learning how to print with each one of those makes you better at the end of the day. And it makes me understand these plastics more. I might not understand the composition of them, but I understand how to print with them. And for me, that's what matters. What their composition of them is, it really doesn't bother me. But being able to print with them again is the biggest thing for me is just learning more. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you learned a little bit from watching this video about these filaments. Again, any questions, please let me know down in the comments, send me a message or an email. I'll be happy to get back to you and help you out with whatever settings you need help with. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. Let me know down below what I can do to improve these videos in the future. If you wanna support me, down below there's gonna be a big subscribe button. Please hit that. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon. That way you get an email anytime I upload new content. I thank you for your time and for you guys to come back watch each of my videos. If you wanna help me out financially, Patreon link down below. Donate me a dollar more, I greatly appreciate it. All my current Patreons, thank you very much for your love and support, you guys are awesome. If you guys wanna support me without spending any money, down below is lots of affiliate links, go ahead, check those out, do your daily shopping. A little slice of what you get, 
comes back to me and I do love the help. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy printing.